Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. All right, so what we're going to do in this video, let's go ahead and clean up this template here, remove this HTML that we don't need. Uh, this is for the video page that we had showed in the last video. And what I want to show you is how we actually pass data down to your Django uh, HTML page so it can be displayed. So let's pull up our views.py file, the one that's rendering the index.html. So if uh, you remember, we have two views now. Like every app you add to your project, you're going to have its own views file. So video has its own view, and then any other app you want to add in the future will have its own view. And I had showed you guys that we have this uh, empty Python dictionary object, which this is actually what we're going to use to pass down pass down data to the template. So I could actually have a string, right? Um, so we'll just have just a simple uh, variable we'll call my string equals this is a Python string. And then if we want to pass this down, we can assign it any name that we want. So just like any Python dictionary that you've ever used, a dictionary is called a dictionary because it has a key and a value. The key is how you get the value. The key can be whatever we want it to be. So this first argument, you could call it whatever. It doesn't matter. Like, I mean, this, you would give it a distinctive name that matches, you know, hopefully like, you know, whatever the data is because, you know, you wouldn't want to call it variable, whatever. But my point is that you can name it whatever you want. Your key can be whatever. So a real name, let's go ahead and just call it the name of the variable so we know what it is, my string. And then we're going to assign the value to it of my string. So now if we go over to our view that renders this page, we should be able to reference that data in our template by saying my string. And because it is data, like we need to have it in some sort of uh, HTML tag. So let's put it in an H1. Now I want to be uh, make sure you guys are aware of this. Uh, if you're picking up this video midway through, you're going to notice that I'm using Visual Studio to actually run my Django app. So all I got to do is hit the little uh, green button and it's going to launch my, my Python development server that comes with Django. You don't have to do that. You don't have to use Visual Studio. And if you go to wherever your project is located, where you're going to have access to your manage.py file, so you can see that this project's in Movies 2 and then the movie uh, main app name. And you could just simply say Python manage.py run server. So just to make sure you guys are aware of that. Um, I touched on that in earlier videos, but I don't have to necessarily do this every time I make a change and want to start up my server. So anyway... So I went ahead and I started my application. If we go back over to the videos page, you can see that we're actually printing. This is a Python string, and we're putting it inside of an H1 in our template. So it's just a header tag in HTML. So you can see this is server-side data that got passed down. So it's not some static data, meaning some HTML template that we created and just reference that never changes. You know, This can be dynamic data that gets pulled from a database, that gets read from some API, um, that maybe is you know scraped or you know read from some email scraper program that you know you run every day or something. The bottom line is that the data can come from wherever you want it to, and the server can get that data and then it passes that data down, um, just like I showed you.